so vivid, vivid he contacted the investigator who's been looking for Erica Frazier for two decades. The 17 year old vanished from Brooksville, Kentucky. Now it's considered a murder mystery. Local 12's Deborah Dixon shows us why some believe the answers are still in that tiny town. Erica Frazier left home to go uptown, something teens in small towns do, but she never came home. Her car was found in a field. There were no signs of violence inside. Her family believes she's dead, but still. Sometimes the phone rang and something in my head says, that might be Erica said, Papa, come get me, you know. I know it won't happen, yeah. but it's always something I think about. The community won't rest where Erica's concerned until Erica's found. We'll continue to work just like uh, she's our own child. Bob Scott's been looking for her since October 21st, 1997. Back then, he was with Kentucky State Police and worked out of a tiny office in the old courthouse. Now he's chief deputy with the Bracken County Sheriff's Office, working out of the new Justice Center in Brooksville. They say in every um, detective's life, there's one case, there's that one case, this is mine. The call to police came from kids who found her car between two bales of hay. Erica's purse was inside. Weeks later, during a search, her car keys were found a hundred yards away. Do you think someone might have just been running, running, running this way, running away from the car? Well, if they were, they were running in the direction of Brooksville. Running back to Brooksville after leaving Erica's car in that field, back to town where everyone knows everyone, all 600 or so of them. We're a small community, everybody knows everybody, and those things just didn't happen here then. We, it was a time of innocence here. Innocence lost. I was told that her body was taken to a hog farm. I've also heard that she is buried right underneath the new high school. Jeannie says the town isn't talking because everyone knows everyone. There's too many people involved in it. There was way too many people involved. So if one tells, everybody goes down. Yeah. I know a whole lot more now about what didn't happen to her than I knew 20 years ago because of the leads we followed up and to dead ends. I've had four people confess to killing Erica and, and it just didn't happen. Scott says it's possible only one person knows what happened. Of course he has someone in mind. And there is a clue he won't talk about, one that only he and that person know about. Here in the old Bracken County Courthouse, there's still a poster of Erica Frazier, the missing 17-year-old, and an age progression image of what she would look like in her 30s. Erica's mother put up those posters, held vigils, and waited and waited. I can't live my life like this. I don't want to. Erica's mother decorated for Christmas as if Erica might come home and left her room the way it was the night she disappeared. Maggie died waiting. Erica's father is dead too. We just would like to find out where she is, where her body might be, where we can, you know, lay her to rest. Bob Scott still hopes someone will find her remains during hunting season or while harvesting. If someone did this and told, I continue to pray that whoever they told, will, their conscience will bother them and they'll come forward and tell. Until that happens, the mystery of Erica Frazier will haunt this Kentucky town. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News.